It certainly did, my upbringing certainly did, but not quite in the way that the description of Underhill may, might make you think. I was born actually in New Hampshire, one state over from, from Vermont, and I grew up there until I, was, uh, nine, until I was nine years old. And in those years, my father was a small businessman and he was a pharmacist. And in those first nine years of my life, I watched him go from working in a pharmacy to owning his own pharmacy and, and launching a business. And I also grew up in uh, the New Hampshire climate of uh, rugged individualism, pro-capitalism. One of my earliest political memories was going door to door, passing out campaign literature for a candidate named Axe the Tax Thompson. So I grew up in New Hampshire, which is now the home of the libertarian movement and the free state movement. And I moved when I was nine back to my, um, with, my, with my grandparents, my mother's house where she grew up in Vermont, which is the Green Mountain State rather than the, the granite rock ribbed place of New Hampshire and a much more socialistic environment. So, yes, my small town upbringing influenced my views, but in this slightly schizophrenic and unusual way, I grew up in New Hampshire, was raised watching people work, was raised uh, hearing about the importance of individual work, about individual responsibility, about caring for one's own family, about, about a family being a unit that tried to make something of oneself in the world, and that would be a base for making oneself in the world, and then moved to Vermont where there was a much more um, I won't say socialist ethos, though it seems to be coming that way more and more, a more democratic ethos, a uh, more green mountain <laughs> social uh, ethos. And in my book, Free Market Fairness, I combine some of those two elements. I combine uh, things I learned as a child about the importance of those everyday libertarian attitudes that were so important to my father. And I also learned um, some things about community and what it means to care about one another uh, as people do in Vermont. I also, I think, if I may just say, but my neighbors in Underhill won't mind my saying this, I saw the dark side in Underhill of caring about community to such a degree that individual rights often get truncated. Underhill became prosperous, and just the way you described in part because of zoning, reg zoning regulations that were put in to maintain the natural beauty of the place. It is a very beautiful place, but a lot of the people who originally lived there when I first moved there, farmers and less educated families, uh, moved out. Um, maybe it's a, a, a kind of object lesson about the importance of economic liberty. Maybe it's not.